Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. No, really, don't panic. No incoming bombs this time, just an incoming motorcycle. Stay tuned to find out more. Well, hello there. I suppose it's in typical economical rides fashion that shortly after I made a video outlining my plans for future content on this channel, I have to throw all of those plans in the bin and start all over again. And now I will attempt to explain why. As many of you will know, at the beginning of January, I took my Meteor in for its six month, 5,000 kilometer service. Whilst I was at the dealership, I had a word with the dealer and I did ask them when they thought a certain bike might be coming in so that I might have a look at it. They didn't actually know themselves, so they rang the importer and he told me they would be expecting them to come in towards the end of January. I mentioned to the dealer that if he were to get one for stock, I would appreciate it if he would at least order it in the colour combination, which I most liked. He asked me what that was, I told him, and he said, oh, don't worry, we were going to get one in that colour anyway. So basically, that's how things were at the beginning of January. I was told that they may be getting this motorcycle towards the end of the month, and they would order it in the colour that I liked and that they would inform me when it arrived so that I could come and have a look at it. So the end of January came and went and I still hadn't heard anything and I was kind of in limbo because I didn't know whether this bike would be coming, when it would be coming, if when they did get their allocation it might be the completely the wrong colour anyway. So I was kind of in limbo and so at that point I did decide to make plans for future content on the basis that this motorcycle wouldn't be available anytime soon. Well, I'm recording this on Monday the 14th of February 2022. On the previous Friday, I received a phone call from the dealer that, in quotes, my bike had arrived. Um, it was quite late in the day on Friday, so I couldn't go on Friday. They don't open on Saturday, so I agreed to go in today. So this morning, I went to the dealership and I looked at the motorcycle in question and I did the thing that I have previously always done when I've been to their shop, looked at the bike when it was a new model, it was in the right colour and yes, I ended up buying it on the spot. So here is the motorcycle in question. Probably for most of you, it will come as no great surprise to learn that I bought a Royal Enfield Classic 350 in a rather striking colour combination of red and chrome with gold pinstripes. There are several reasons why I decided to buy a Classic 350. First of all, as most of you will know, I used to own a Bullet 500 and a Classic 350 is more or less the modern equivalent. I always thought a smoother, more reliable, easier to live with Bullet 500 would have been a lovely bike. So the Classic 350 does pretty much cover all of those bases. So I'm really looking forward to seeing whether it lives up to my perceived image of being a modern version of the old Bullet 500s. Another very important reason why I decided to buy this bike is that I'm already well aware that many of the viewers of my channel are interested in the Meteor but haven't committed to buying one yet because they wanted to take a look at the Classic 350 when it finally arrived. So for these people I should be able to provide a really good comparison between the Meteor and the Classic 350 and that should be able to help them to decide which bike is the right bike for them. 
I also know quite a few Meteor owners who have mentioned that they would be interested in buying a Classic 350 in addition to their Meteor. So again, more people who would probably be interested in the Classic 350, particularly in relation to its characteristics when compared to the Meteor. According to the reports I've seen from India, although the bikes are mechanically very similar, the Meteor and the Classic 350 do have very distinct characters. And I'm really looking forward to discovering this for myself and looking forward to reporting all about it. The dealer told me that the bike should be ready for collection in a day or two, but in reality I should probably be picking it up at the end of the week because I have a lot going on at the moment. So if I can pick the bike up at the end of the week, the collection video and first impressions on the ride home should be online by the beginning of next week. So I hope you're as excited as I am about this new addition to the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about the Classic 350. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to bringing you my first impressions video and collection video, all things being equal, at the beginning of next week. Bye bye.